Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Aviation for GK. In this video, we will be discussing what does it mean by Master Minimum Equipment List MMEL, Minimum Equipment List MEL, and Configuration Deviation List CDL. So, before I start with this video, if you are new to my channel, I would like to request you to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon, so that you won't miss any of my future videos. So, let's start with the Master Minimum Equipment List MMEL. The Master Minimum Equipment List is a document that lists the equipment that may temporarily be inoperative, subject to certain conditions, whilst maintaining an acceptable level of safety. Different type of aircraft has its own Master Minimum Equipment List. This list will be basically prepared by the manufacturer and authorized by the Civil Aviation Authority of a member state of the manufacturer. Whereas the minimum equipment list is an approved document prepared by the operator, taking into account the relevant operational and maintenance conditions they operate under. It lists items from the MMEL which may be temporarily inoperative, subject to certain conditions, at the commencement of the flight. Here one thing to remember is that the MMEL and associated minimum equipment list are alleviating documents. Their purpose is not, however, to encourage the operation of aircraft with inoperative equipment. It is undesirable for aircraft to be dispatched with inoperative equipment and such operations are permitted only as a result of careful analysis of each item to ensure that the acceptable level of safety is maintained. There are four categories of MEL. If the inoperative equipment falls under Category A, MEL, then the item must be repaired within the time interval specified in the remarks column of the certificate holder's approved MEL. If the inoperative equipment falls under Category B, then it shall be repaired within three consecutive calendar days, excluding the day of discovery. If the inoperative equipment falls under Category C, then it shall be repaired within 10 consecutive calendar days, excluding the day of discovery. If the inoperative equipment falls under Category D, then it shall be repaired within 120 consecutive calendar days, excluding the day of discovery. Now, we'll see about the Configuration Deviation List CDL. CDLs are used to identify external components of an aircraft type, which may be missing for dispatch or for the next flight. Where necessary, CDLs will provide associated information on performance corrections for such flights. The CDL is published as part of the Aircraft Flight Manual. For example, a missing fairing may increase drag and therefore, fuel burn, the pilot may need to uplift more fuel. In conclusion, these lists will help the aircraft to dispatch with some inoperative equipment, which has least or no effect on the safety of flight. Hence reducing the aircraft on ground time. So, that's all for today's topic, if you think this information helped you, then please like, comment and share with others. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any queries, you can comment or reach me out on aviation4gk at gmail.com. Thank you again and see you in the next video.